Greetings and welcome to another impressions video here at Words About Games and today we're going to be looking at my time at Porsche. I'm completely hooked on my time at Porsche. Perhaps it was just a matter of timing but I didn't get into the game all that much when I checked it out in early access last summer. Fast forward more than half a year to the game's official release and I'm having a very difficult time putting it down. Even when I've walked away from the game, I'm still checking out the wiki and thinking about what I want to accomplish next. My Time at Porsche is a crafting and exploration game that puts you in the shoes of Porsche's newest member. You've moved to the town after inheriting your pa's neglected, run-down old workshop and must restore it to its former glory. Luckily, there's a massive variety of different ways you can do that, whether you take on commissions from the mayor of Porsche or its residents, fulfill villagers' requests, rear animals, grow crops, and generally help rebuild your workshop and the town itself. There's always something to do in Porsche. And while there is a main questline for you to follow, villagers' requests and commissions you can take and a calendar of events to partake in, you can pretty much set your own objectives, chart your own course, and find it very difficult to run out of self-assigned tasks. My Time at Porsche is a game designed to be played at your own pace and in your own way. To list everything that Porsche has to offer would take the rest of this video and most of the next one. But to attempt to make a go of it, you've got building, farming, socialising, mining, running combat dungeons, completing tasks for people, fulfilling wishes and desires, raising animals, fishing, relic hunting, playing games, dating, and probably a bunch more that currently escapes me. That's what makes this game so powerfully addictive. I always found myself juggling three or four things at once, and there was always something to do. On any given day, you'll be rushing around town, gathering materials, crafting the components needed for your next project, chatting to and befriending the townsfolk, and so much more. Usually, all at once. Despite this constant flurry of activity, though, the game is never overwhelming. Instead, it's really well paced. I never felt like things were getting on top of me or that I was trying to balance too many things at once. In fact, my time at Porsche felt like it was perfectly balanced to make me feel like I was constantly in control and very much in command of my own destiny, rather than desperately running out of time chasing various objectives. There is some light gatekeeping involved as you move through the main quest. Your core crafting stations will need to be upgraded to create more advanced designs and materials as you progress into making ever more complicated objects. And you'll need to upgrade your tools to have access to bigger and better core crafting materials, as well as research new stations by collecting data disks during mining excavations or in the game's combat-focused dungeons. Luckily, the game is pretty generous with its loot. Dedicating a significant amount of a day to getting crafting materials will result in you being stocked up for weeks before needing to dedicate time to getting raw. What can be an all-consuming exercise in other similar games is effortless in my time at Porsche, which lets you get on with building stuff and making progress without the need to constantly stress over having materials on hand. Tying into this are the game's controls and UI, which are both incredibly intuitive, to the point I was able to load my early access save from six months ago and, despite not having played the game for more than half a year, pretty much pick up from where I left off. Even combat, which is quite basic and definitely not a focus, has its own rhythms and works quite well. And this might be the first game I've ever actually chosen to play the fishing mini game in. It's not just your workshop and the town that you'll be improving. Everything you do in the game will net you XP. Seriously, everything. Which lets you unlock new abilities and improvements on Porsche's skill tree. Decorative items you find or craft and put in your home can also boost your health and stamina, which gives your home improvement efforts a practical edge. All of this is wrapped up in one of the most delightfully charming games you're likely to come across this year. The world is bright, vibrant, and full of life and charm. Exploring is a pleasure, whether you're wandering the land, diving into a dungeon, or seeing what the town itself has to offer and Porsche is populated by a charming cast of characters with their own personalities, interests, and schedules, and it's a delight to get to know them. My Time at Porsche is a fairly simple game, made up of a series of simple mechanics that combine to form a compellingly addictive experience. 
There's so much to see and do here that you'll never find yourself standing still or with nothing to occupy your time, and every aspect of the experience works really well. While most of the games I cover I pretty much stop playing once the video is done, I can see myself playing my time at Porsche for a very long time indeed. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. If you've enjoyed it, please keep it here at Words About Games. We've got tons, tons, tons of content, including our weekly podcast, more impressions videos, patch notes, and our weekly indie game of the week. We also stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash wordsaboutgames every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. And most importantly, have a great day.